The insect hatches on the eagle are quite healthy. Both mayflies and caddisflies can hatch at the same time. On this particular trip, the caddisflies were more abundant. One effective technique used when caddis are hatching is to hold the rod high and twitch the tip. This will make the fly skitter across the surface of the water, similar to a hatching caddis. Got him. Got him. Good fish too. Another one just rose there. We might be in for an hour's worth of fun. Dry fly fishing for giant eastern brook trout. Nothing like it. These are huge. There's brook trout in other areas, but not the same size as these. He's just about ready, Dave. I'll drag him over top. There we go. Thank you, sir. Nice eastern brook trout. And away it goes. Woo! <laughs> Missed them. Did you see that one? Whoa. Got him. That was a big fish too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bending the rod for sure. I'm not saying much folks because I'm concentrating on what's happening here. But I don't care. I got a big fish on. <laughs> oh yeah. Good fish, good fish. Oh my, oh my, look at that, look at that. There's what you got when you come to Labrador and it's on dry flies, caddis flies. I'm gonna let this guy go and away he goes. One grabbed it when I wasn't looking. Go figure that one. You just never know when it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, good one. I was looking upstream for my next place to cast and the fish hit. There we go. Cat us out. There you go. That's a very nice trout. I didn't expect it. I was getting a little frustrated with the wind and looking for a new place to cast, and he come up and ate it. Very nice. And away you go. We've just arrived at the flower pot pool, which has been the most productive pool that they've had this, this week. And before I dive in and like do what I did the other day, I'm gonna observe. It's really important that you observe first. Don't just go in because yesterday it worked here. There might be fish close to shore, you don't know. So have a look. We've seen a couple of rises. They're more out in the middle. That tells me that the, the hatch is just beginning. So I'm gonna keep my eye out. I'm gonna wade real carefully and not try to, to, to disturb the water. So this is what you first do when you, when you first come to a hole. Don't just barge in, have a look first. Okay, Belt, down beyond the, that tree there, there's one coming up there every now and then. So he's, he's most likely lying around that tree. Okay. So good chance you could catch that one. Okay, thank you. Oh, I see him, I seen him. Right in there, yep. come on up. Got him. There you go, Bill. Got him. That's a good one. When they start showing themselves, that's excellent. Yes, sir. Now that was right tight under the alders there, so you got to keep an eye there. That's where most of the caddis flies are, are going to be when, when they're mating and, and, and uh, coming out to, to lay their eggs. Excellent. I don't know how big it is, but it uh, took a nice little, oh, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. Now I, I've, I've picked a, a bigger fly. It's actually a sofa pillow, which is a stone fly imitation, but we got such big caddis flies here. I wanted something big for the water. And it worked. Yeah, it's decent fish. Just let it tire itself out. It will. Come here, you. There we 
we go. There you go. Nice, nice brook trout. Really colorful this one. Look at look at the spots on it. Let him go. Dry fly fishing for a giant eastern brook trout. It's the best. It really is. Hatches on the Eagle River are heavy and all sizes can hatch at the same time. So dry fly suggestions are elk haired caddis in all sizes, goddard caddis in all sizes, and when fishing subsurface, woolly buggers in black and also in white work really well. Don't forget to bring some mouse patterns for the times when the trout are aggressive. Got him. That a boy, Bill. It's the reason most of us started fly fishing to begin with is for the dry fly. And when you get them big fish like this on dry flies, it's outstanding. Wowee. <laughs> Angry fish right now. Another good sized brook trout. Got him. Wow. Wowee. <laughs> and he, he wanted that bad because he took it right down into his roof of his mouth. Beautiful. That's a nice, nice brook trout. He's had a run in with a, I think an eagle. If you look down by my hand here, he's got a talon mark in him. Nice fish there. Wowee. And away he goes. The hatches I've seen here are three or four different kinds of caddis flies and mayflies. That's about all I've seen here so far. The sizes, the caddis would be uh, roughly an inch long. There's some that are a half inch long and I've seen ones that were probably a quarter of an inch long. The first week I had uh, 15. This week so far I have 18. And the biggest one I would guess would be six to seven pounds. It was time to leave, but I said just one more cast. What a surprise I got. Yeah, it's my last day here. And we come back to the flower pot where all the action is. And I've got myself another nice fish. We had to move a little farther down. They're in deeper water for right, right now, I think because of the bright sun. And I had a rise and Cast to him and he took it. And this is a bigger fish. She's running out a little bit of line on me. Now that's a brook trout. <laughs> that is a brook trout. And he's, he ate it completely. Look at that. <laughs> Size 12 Goddard caddis. And he ate it. He wanted it bad. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God, this is a big fish. Now, this is a super duper heavy fish. Oh my, what a great fish. Wow, isn't that something? That's at least six, maybe a little better. A little better than, oh my goodness, what a great fish. And away he goes, wow-wee. 